if you've wondered how to store my paintings, this is how. No, I do not store my paintings inside my house. They are next to a dinosaur, quite literally. I'm not feeling the best best today, so this video is going to be a bit shorter. That's all right. Before I go into where my paintings are stored, I do want to do a little bit of an update. About a week and a half ago, I hit my head very, very badly. <laughs> I've been under watch for brain bleeds, which that's why I've not really posted or done much content, which I'm really sad about because I was so ready to just like go. After the Van Gogh thing, I had a lot of things planned and it just kind of all fell apart because I hit my head on a cabinet while cleaning my kitchen. I am going to show images. I'm going to show them at the very, very end because then you can opt out if you don't want to see them or if you're the kind of person who's a bit curious. You can see them because I don't really care. <laughs> It's just a big lump and a bruise, and it's actually still there as well. I've just put on makeup today, so. Beyond that, I store my paintings in a convention warehouse. Now, I was gonna do a thing of like, where do I store my paintings? Well, yeah, well, yeah, he's going to be at MCM, isn't he? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, but you can do that actually, create a nice social post. The, the warehouse where I store my paintings, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can get a nice little drag. That's so cool. See what we've done with the yeah. photos and what we've done with the merch area. Up there, um, uh, Daily, but he's hanging upside down. <laughs> he his legs out the top of the crate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spider Man's legs. That's funny. Yeah. If I could slip through, yeah, I'm happy. I'm just checking on him. I don't need to get him out. Yeah, so if you go straight down, yeah. Yeah, and then go left, and they're on the right. Wow. Oh, gosh, I forgot these. Wow, not seen these in ages. I, sh I need to do another gallery show. Yeah. See, that would be something do to do, Jamie, at some point. Oh, no, I don't, because that says pop do, on Jamie, it. at some point on the TV. That'd be really good. Yeah, that's my, my thought. Unfortunately, I couldn't show more of the paintings because they're in a little bit of a reshuffle and the full clean-out is in December. The warehouse is fun. Yeah, well, if you'd have come a few weeks ago, you would have had the groomobile and the toothless oh, yeah. have to train your dragon and whatever they... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Takes out your ankles, yeah? Yeah. So either, either be here guiding. Yeah. Oh, there's the guiding. Yeah, because yeah. I can put. But well, we're going straight first because you have to turn late. Yeah. So this time they're not going to kiss them. Here we go. Thank you. Watch out for the sticking of screws when you come through the four guests. Tom's an event director and his boss owns both Megacon and this giant warehouse that stores things for conventions and companies you might know. Which is why there's a giant Jurassic Park T-Rex in there and there's Spider-Man, Mario tubes are in there, Doctor Who TARDIS, and my paintings. My paintings are stored in a little spot because I'm just lucky. <laughs> I'm just, I'm very fortunate because they do take up too much room in my house and so to have this giant warehouse available is very nice. As a bit of a trade-off though, I did design the mascot and still do design things for the mascot of Megacon, which is Nico. And Nico's getting a flush this year and other merchandise and things, so I'm very excited. They were removing the T-Rex to bring to MCM this past weekend, so here's me at MCM with the T-Rex actually built up. Very much enjoyed it. You guys were lovely to meet and everything. It was kind of a spontaneous thing on my part. I did get a cold from it though, so I've woken up today with a bit of a fever and a sore throat and I'm not feeling the best in addition to the head thing, so. And I feel myself losing my voice, so I might have to go now. As promised, here are the images of my head injury. I was cleaning my kitchen. I opened the top cabinet, threw something away, spun back into it, and rather than hitting the door and like closing it, I hit it straight on the corner, straight on that bottom corner. And uh, it didn't even shut, it just was full speed corner in the middle of my head. <laughs> so I've been on watch for brain bleeds and that's, that's been my past couple weeks. It's been terrible. It is getting better though. I've got makeup on now. This is what it actually looked like this morning. <laughs> if you're wondering what foundation I'm wearing, it is NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. 
it works very well. At the most part, I can go out in public <laughs> and not get questioned. So th that's been the goal for the past week. Anyway, uh, I will catch you next time and bye. Goodbye. Bye.